a leader's three C's. The three C's to evolving your business. Now, whether you're in a professional position of leadership or an entrepreneur and leading your own thing, I'm sure that you would like to grow. Grow either your revenue, grow the amount of people you employ, or grow your impact geographically so you can impact and enhance the whole world. To do that, we'll need the three C's, and that's create, close, and calm. See, create. This was a word that I used to bellow from the stands as an excited father as my sons played basketball. Create, create, create. You want to create opportunities for the team. Create, create opportunities for your teammates and create opportunities for yourself. In business, how do we do that? We create opportunities for our people. What do they want to get out of working with you and for you? Whatever that answer is, if it's reasonable, doable, and fair for what you can provide, why not? It's amazing how much better and harder people will work for you, with you, and forgive about our leadership when you've done something and met their deepest needs. So create opportunities. And whether that's helping them with their dream, helping them move up, speaking their language, letting them know how they can get more responsibilities, promotions, raises, incentives, whatever it is, find out how to create those opportunities within your organization. The two other things we must create is a new way to sell old product. Whatever your service is, whatever your product is, there's always a new generation coming up that doesn't know about you and that operates on a whole different level of technology in which you're already servicing. So find a new way to, ser to service your old product. Maybe there's a technology that you can now tap into. You said you never do TikTok, but maybe you need to. You said you never do social media, but maybe you need to. So find a new way to sell your old product. The other way to create, the final way to create, is to create new product. Whatever it is that you are doing and serving now as your product, and will in time, it may need to evolve. It works now, but the way your people want it or may like to receive it may change. And leaders anticipate that change. Don't fight against it and maximize it so they can grow their revenue, their people, and their impact. Ask Blockbuster Video if they wish they would have created a new way to service their old product, creating new product, and also creating opportunities for their people. Don't be Blockbuster. The second C is closing. It's one thing within your business or as an entrepreneur to have deals set up, to have official buy-in and know that people like what you're doing, what you're servicing, and whatever your product is. That's great. However, it's only the start. There's a couple of things that we need to effectively close. We need to close deals and solidify them. It's not just getting the meeting. It's not getting that verbal buy-in. I know, like you know, that the deal isn't done until the invoice is out, the agreement is out, everything is signed and the check is in the mail. Be able to close more deals. And how do we do that? We do that by leading with your, what your customer or client wants or needs. I never start the meetings that I have with organizations with my menu. What is it that you want to get out of bringing someone like me in? What is it that you want to get out of my service or product? And then we have to be mindful as leaders to shut up and listen. And whatever they say, now you marry it with what you have. Now your menu is more important because now you can service them by what they need or be able to customize it to their want and need. So, closing deals by what your client or customer needs most right now. 
The other closing is we must close deals with our people, our employees. They have things that they want and need, as we mentioned about creating, knowing what they are, setting up one-on-one -on -one regular meetings. And I talk about this in a leader's one-on-one -on -one meeting to know what they want, not guess, not hope we know, but to service what they want and need and be able to close those deals, keeping our inspired and motivated people, uplifting our steady streams, and making our grouches a bit happier as well. Lastly, we must be able to stay calm. As a leader, you, I, we, must be able to keep our people calm through two big times, through massive success. When we start to exceed our expectations, when you reach your definition of success, it's easy for people to become very hyper or very lackadaisical. It's human nature. How do we stay calm in the face of success? Enjoying the moment but also being able to stay calm and being able to say, now what, what's next? And also in times of crisis and through change. So how do we keep our people calm through massive success? Through crisis that has, that's going to happen. It happens in every business, through any stretch of life, as COVID. So through crisis as a leader, can we stay calm? and have a plan of action of what we need to do, allowing it to evolve, keeping our people calm, motivated, forward thinking, and proactive. And through change. Change is one of those things that inevitably has to happen, but always gut punches us every time it does. Keeping our people calm by setting the expectation that change and crisis and success will come. And when it does, this is how we handle it. So we handle it by expecting it. Then we have a team or people delegated to certain responsibilities. We allow it to evolve. We have our regular meetings to understand what's needed from our customer base, our client base, our employee base, and our leader base, and developing plans to make sure that everyone is as satisfied as can be and our vision and vision factors and expectations and standards never falter. Guys, that's the three C's. You can grow your business, evolve as you first, as we first, create, create, create. Then we want to close and then we want to stay calm through crisis, change, and success. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, you're going to love everything at youevolvingnow.com. It's Y-O-U, evolvingnow.com. I look forward to you following. I look forward to connecting with you and being of impact within your organization for your leaders, employees, and you. Until next time, enjoy your evolution.